Greetings viewers, we have a pen here today from Moon Man. This is one of the higher end Moon Man pens. This is the M300 and this is a um, kind of pricier Moon Man pen. It goes for about $70. As we walk through the different uh, components of the pen, we'll see why it's a little more expensive. Basically the punchline is it's got this really kind of high end, great looking acrylic and it's got a Schmidt German made nib. So that's basically the two factors making this uh, a bit more expensive than most of the other Moon Man pens. Uh, size wise we're talking about a fairly conventionally sized pen here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan and as you can see it's pretty much spot on size wise with these although it is a bit girthier it definitely has a little bit a little bit of weight to it it's a fairly thick substantial acrylic this pen weighs 30 grams um, <clears throat> the cap band is a nice um, uh, gold colored cap band that says Moon Man etched around the um, band and nothing else. The clip is a sort of swooping uh, arch shaped clip that is extremely stiff, um, but uh, clearly will get the uh, job done. But this definitely has a lot of tension, uh, tension going on in the clip. Nothing on either of the finials, so the cap and the end of the barrel are just simply round. The material now is really something. This comes in a bunch of different materials. This one is pretty much got lots of different colors in it. You got blues, you got reds, you got little flecks of gold. It's basically got a clear whitish base to it that is translucent in some places. The blue Flex uh, have a decent amount of shimmer to them, which looks really nice. And like I said, I think this is just really, really great looking material, and hence uh, a bit why uh, it uh, commands the premium price. Um, it's a screw to open cap, it takes two turns to open. Um, in terms of length, it's probably just long enough to use unposted, but it doesn't really cause any sufficient back weighting issues to use posted. It's nice and long posted. I do like to post my pens and I prefer to post them. But like I said, if you don't like to post, you could certainly deal with that with this pen. One nice thing, again, that I think um, uh, helps perhaps command the price is the section is made of the exact same material as the rest of the pen, which always is welcome and looks just, just super here in this case. Now we get to the nib. We're dealing here with a Schmidt nib. It's a solid solid gold tone uh, over the whole nib. It's got the scroll work. It's got a big F for fine and it says Schmidt Iridium Point. And um, here is sort of the, you know, not uh, atypical plastic feed which you get in um, Schmidt nib units such as, uh, such as this. You can see the end of the nib unit just through the little translucent parts here because like I said there are parts of this which are translucent. It is a cartridge converter filled pen. It does come with the converter but no eyedropper in here. We've got um, nothing metal in the barrel or best, best that I could tell however you do have metal here. Um, it would be it's a little bit of a shame this actually might make it not a, not a terribly bad pen to uh, to eyedropper but again I'm not going to complain at all so all in all a pretty pretty sharp looking pen again this material these colors just um, just really great real eye-catching eye-catching pen but as much as it catches the eye you're probably saying to yourself self pens were meant to write how does this pen write? We're going to find that out right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here is a Moon Man. Model M300. And this has a fine steel nib. Schmidt nib. Um, in terms of flex, no. You could just ooze out a tiny bit of line variation, but this is not a flexy nib by any means. In fact, it's actually classified as quite stiff. One thing I will say is this is, in my mind, not a fine nib. 
this is uh, an extra fine that is for sure so I would definitely classify this nib as an extra fine which means it's a bit too fine for me but depending what you like you may just absolutely love it I tend to like my nibs a bit broader but as an extra fine goes it is definitely quite smooth actually so one of my biggest gripes on extra fine nibs is typically their lack of smoothness. I'd say this uh, pen is average in terms of wetness for an extra, extra fine. Certainly not dry, certainly not what I would call a wet writing pen. I think it's straight, uh, straight, uh, straight down the middle. Writes pretty decently, but again, I, I personally think this nib is 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 very much on the, the extra fine category, and not a fine. Um, I might actually replace this nib uh, in the long term because I love 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 the this acrylic. It is a number six size nib, so I shouldn't have too much trouble replacing it. Um, but I think I like the pen itself way more than I like uh, this particular nib. So I definitely have plenty of number six nibs that that I could replace this with. So I might actually just do that because I'll get I'll get a lot more use out of the pen in that case. And again, it's a pen that I really really like. So I'm uh, I'm uh, more than likely to do that. So stay tuned to this channel for further developments on that uh, issue. Um, I think that about covers it for this pen. Nice pen, little pricey for a Moonman pen, but you are getting a Schmidt nib. You're getting a really nice, substantial, hefty acrylic pen. Um, so it's pushing it for, uh, you know, the inex it's definitely outside of the inexpensive Chinese pen category and into the, the more moderately priced uh, pen category. But uh, again, um, um, nice pen. Um, and um, uh, I think if this is the kind of thing that appeals to you, you would definitely be happy with this pen. I think that'll about do it for the pen. Let's talk about this ink for a bit, shall we? This ink is um, a, a, from a German company, and this ink is Seitz. Kreuznach. Tomato red. Or tomato red if you're in the UK. So this comes in this uh, 30 milliliter bottle. Um, if uh, the shape of this bottle looks familiar, it should. Pelican inks come in literally the exact same size and shape bottle. Which led me to think these are two, diff two German companies that both sell ink. Maybe the same factory is cranking out ink for both of these. I'm inclined to think not. Um, this does say made in Austria, bottled in Germany. The caps are of totally different design. And also the actual manufacture the bottles does not seem to be the same they seem to be made uh, you know made a bit differently if you look at the bottom of the bottles so unless they really went out of their way to have them look uh, differently I think it's just a question of uh, one company copying the other's bottle shape but I might be wrong but in any case this is um, Seitz Kreuznach tomato red and it is a well named ink it looks it is a red that is somewhat evocative of tomato definitely is a more orangey kind of red it is still definitely in the red category i don't think it's quite crossed the line into the orange category but you know looks like um you know what i would say from a tomato red perspective to, i remember when i was a kid tomatoes were much redder i don't i think sort of genetic engineering of tomatoes over the decades has uh for uh to make them a less perishable uh, for transportation and stuff has made them a lot more orangey and a lot less red. So I think this looks more like a contemporary tomato than a uh, tomato from a few decades ago, which were much, much redder, um, at least as I seem to recall. So in any case, so this is definitely would be evocative of a tomato colored red. It is a pretty nice ink. Um, you know, again, it's always hard to appreciate some of these inks in a very, very fine pen like this, but, um, you know, definitely a nice, interesting red color that um, um, is, is, I think, well named, seems to be relatively 
well behaved, doesn't bleed through the paper or do nasty things like that. You're not going to get special effects on this ink. This does not appear to have any sort of shading shimmer or um, sheen or any sort of uh, uh, effects like that. It's a relatively flat tomatoey red, but it is, it is a nice, nice uh, color of red nonetheless. Um, I think that is about all we have to say about this ink, which would mean I think we're pretty much about ready to wrap up this video. So, I do hope you all enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. I would much appreciate it if you're not already a subscriber. Please subscribe. Please keep those thumbs up and comments coming. Also, when you subscribe, make sure you click that little bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video because you're definitely going to want to know about that. And in any case, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.